it's Eva Eckert. Welcome to the No Excuses Ladies Show, episode number 38. Can you believe it? Episode number 38. And I have to tell you, I've been broadcasting this on different social media. I am here on Instagram. I am on my new YouTube channel because we've had a YouTube channel for many, many years. It's called The Peak Physique and Why. And just recently, I have decided that I'm going to be going live with this show on just regular our Facebook page instead of just going into our exclusive group. So what is the No Excuses Ladies Show all about that I do every week? It's for all of everyone out there, a lot of women out there who have been struggling with making too many excuses in their life and find themselves being unhappy and unsuccessful in all areas of their life. And this weekly life will give you examples examples on how the no excuses mindset helped me and my freak family become successful in all these areas of uh, your life, like the mind, body, business, and relationships. No excuses, ladies, traps absolutely well with everyone. Everyone. This show is for everyone. Absolutely everyone. For those of you who are a badass and for those of you who would like to become a badass in real life, I am here to help you, support you, guide you, and lead you to your full potential. Will you take the necessary steps to implement what am I teaching you? So you can get the next stage in your life, your mind, body, and business. It's totally up to you and no one else. By having me as your accountability coach, you will be able to discover the power of self-belief and self-motivation so you can stop making excuses and create the life you truly desire and by being just the best version of you. And I see some of you are logging in. Thank you so much for joining me. It's Wednesday. I do this weekly. Just sometimes we miss the episodes when we have some huge events planned, like we just had last week, uh, the, the project meetup when all the project graduates and their wives uh, met for the first time. Because the guys have been meeting, those who graduated the projects, of course, if you don't know about the project, make sure that you're checking the Instagram page, the MDK project only for men. And Steve Eckert, my husband, is the instructor. Uh, or you can also send me just a direct message, I'll be all happy for to give you some examples and information so so guys thank you so much for being here thank you thank you thank you for giving your time to me and 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 really willing to learn something so um yes please uh, write it down where you're coming from i would love to know what state and uh, what country and nowadays with social media we have friends all around the globe right so thank you again for being here and for giving me your time so Write it down. What has been your big, the biggest success in your life? Because this is good. We need to celebrate the victories. I go through work with my clients constantly because I'm a, I'm a I, some people consider this life coach. I consider myself mind, body and business coach. Uh, so it's a little bit different because we are very strong. I'm very strong in those areas of my life. And that's what I do coaching with, right? With my clients. So write it down. What has been your biggest victories? Because a lot of people do not celebrate their victories and uh, they only look into the negativity of their day. And this is so important. You can go with the course of a week, of a month, of a year, whatever you like, but write it down. Don't be afraid to share because this is all good. And what has been your biggest struggle? Because we all have some struggles, guys. There is always something going on. And a lot of us forget, especially now with the social media era, when you scroll down through Facebook, Instagram, and you only see the positivity. But behind every story, there is also a struggle story. So don't be fooled by everything looking great. Everybody has something, right? It might not be identical what you're going through, but there is always something. But the way how we look and how we approach life, it's totally up to us. And I believe that even in the worst situation, that always can be something good. We can always find something good. So last week, we were talking about self-motivation. And I, well, not last week. That was two weeks ago. Because remember, last week we missed because of the project meetup. But this week, I want to talk to you about uh, the, the limits that we create in our lives that you are your own limit. Uh, we say, okay, sky is the limit, but what's happening in our lives that a lot of times you start something new or you approach something new 
And immediately you will say, oh, I can't do it. Oh, this is too hard. Oh, I, I won't be able to do it immediately. And by the way, Facebook, I don't know what it is, but I can't even see your comments. It looks like a huge screen with my face on it. So I literally have to step away so you can see my face. Otherwise, I just see myself like this. So this is either something new or some kind of a glitch. But you guys can, can join me here on the YouTube channel at Eva Eckert. You will find me very easily. So please join me or our Instagram page, Eva.Eckert1, and join the discussion. I would love to hear from you. So, so yeah, what has been uh, recently, what happened recently in your life that you like put a limit on yourself that you said, you know what, this is too difficult. I am not able to do it. I will not figure it out. Was it, what is it? Is it the fear? Is it, is it the unknown? Is it not being resourceful enough? What is it? I mean, we all have this and I just recently even said something we were we were having a discussion and i just I, I i i just kind of came with that wrong approach and i'm like wait a second what am i doing this is all going to work out so we all have that but we either have to catch ourselves on it or someone else or through repeated positivity reinforcement reinforcements of certain uh you know, things that you react to certain things, you're going to be like, you know, it's okay. I will try, right? I will do my best. I will do my best. I will not cut myself short. So I want to always give you in these, in, in these episodes, certain um, things that happen in my life or how our freak family uh, uh, saw this or something came in our life or what happened because we have created, obviously, for those of you who know, we've had a very successful peak physique training two locations in New York. And we've been coaching people for many, many years. And then we transform and pivot the business into online business. But I, I just want to go back to this for a second. Uh, when, when we created peak physique, we didn't have much. We didn't have absolutely anything. Yet we took bold moves, those big, awesome moves, and we decided, you know what, we got to do this. And at stakes were clients that were uh, obviously personal training clients and clients that were living just so far away from the actually physical locations. Yet we took the bold moves and steps to do that when we open up the gym and we put everything at just literally, we put everything what we have into opening the business because our belief and to figure things out was on the plate and the fact that we were like okay we're gonna become resourceful we're gonna we're gonna do what we can and trust me we we came across many many struggles i could spend literally months of talking about it and then success stories as well but we a lot of people put the limit on themselves uh, because they don't have enough of a vision or but they think too small, right? So today I want you to take the bold move and think a little bit outside the box, especially on something that maybe you completely shut it down or you said, you know what, I won't be able to do this. I can't do this. So when we transform and pivot the business into online training, I have to tell you, the, the, we have to spend time on not only uh, designate the time to do a full hour of workouts, you probably seen us here. Then I had to go and uh, learn the system, how I had to do this, um, this online application to be able to transfer these workouts. We had to record hours and hours of clips of the exercises. The, the time and the effort to create the platform was beyond. And for those of you who are not, who knows what, what I'm talking about, hi Kristen, hello. For, for those of you who, are, who who know what I'm talking about, like Coach Kristen will know because she's operating on the same platform. It's time consuming. It's going extra mile. It's pushing so hard beyond beyond really levels that you've never knew existed, and and that's what really is going and stepping above what you think is the limit because 
you create your own limit. And the moment that you're going to say, okay, I cannot do it, you will never approach this. But if you come with an approach, you know what? I will honor the struggle. It will be difficult. Maybe it will be easy, but I will take my time and I will just do what I need to do and go step by step and learn the tools and learn the things. And if we would just approach everything like this, that would be such a help in really living our lives, but we don't do it. And if you stay a little bit longer on my video today, I'm going to give you some tools how you can apply and change, you know, the mind because that's where everything starts, guys. No matter what we do in life, it always starts with our minds. So the mindset is the first thing. You will never be able to achieve anything without that good and positive mindset and taking these giant and bold moves Sometimes committing to something that was bigger than you, committing to a vision, committing to something that you didn't know how to how you how you're gonna do this, but because that was some kind of a force in you that that pushed you to create something like this. So the the fact that I'm talking about this online community and online platform is just to show you that I've never created anything like this. That was something so new to me, and. Uh, it, I was on my own to do that, okay? Because we have divided, I would say, responsibilities here. Steve was working on something else, and I had to put myself into doing it, and I have to figure it out. So it took me months to do it. But a lot of people will be see this, and they will be like, hell no, I'm not going to do this. this. This takes so much time. This takes so much effort. Other example is like when... I've spoken and I said this on my videos before um, when I was actually talking about my life and coming to America. When I had that vision uh, in, in me to just come, I didn't think from the very beginning that I'm going to stay. The vision wasn't there. It was just something different. I wanted to come, make money, you know, come to America. But how I actually came here was a just separate story from everything because everybody think oh okay this was just she came and that's it no there is a story behind it that i wanted to come and nothing what I, what I was doing to come was actually uh, uh, coming to a surface i was going with obstacle after obstacle when i was meeting people i couldn't make it through to the almost to the point i remember exactly when um Back in the day, I mean, we're talking, me and my friend, we wanted to come and, and the family that's supposed to invite us said to us, no. And then I was trying to apply as a babysitter through the agency so that I could come. I mean, we're talking about 27 years ago. And the, the, I had to create an album with pictures, with um, storytelling that I was babysitting other kids so they would see that I had some kind of involvement in babysitting kids and, and have the families that could back me up with my stories. I had to create the whole folder. I remember like today, I spent hours and hours of doing it. I had to go to Warsaw. I wasn't living in Warsaw at that time. Going to Warsaw, submitting the stuff, talking to them, spending hours and hours of practice preparation, hours and hours of calling, scheduling, money being invested in trips. And this company said to me, no. Now, that was already second no. How many no's do you accept? Like how many no's? If somebody tells you no, how many times do you accept? Do, if, if, are you get, being like totally limited and say, if somebody tells you no, you've just given up and that's it? Well, I'll tell you, that's not good. You got to change this today because if you have a strong vision, if you have a strong mindset, if you want to succeed, no matter what you're going to do, either it's your business or your life, weight loss, whatever you're trying to do, you got to have a strong skin and thick skin. And if somebody tells you no, you're going to go and do it anyway. You got to do it again. You got to do it. And that's what I did. So they told me no. But you know what? This no bounced off of me. Uh, like a ping pong. Uh, did it hurt? Uh, yes, more like, you know what, what, what it was more like an ego that uh, I spent all my time, this was all me, why not me? And then I was like, wait a second, okay, they didn't accept me. What else can I do? But I didn't give up. 
I didn't because the vision was stronger and I felt that there is something else there and I just need to dig a little bit deeper. Now, do we do that? Do we go extra mile? Do we dig a little bit more? Do we do we become resourceful? Or we just take that no and wash our hands and say, well, this person said no, I am not going to continue. I mean, guys, think about it. How many, think about the Edison. Think about even, um, well, one of my, co my coaches, Brandon Burchard, when he was trying to write one of his books, I mean, he was told no so many times and he did it anyway. He did it and keep on pursuing his dreams because it was his dream. So are you really connecting to your dreams? You know, when I coach uh, my, my, my clients and depends, some people coach mind, body, business, some people just coach uh, the, the body aspect, it depends, but it's always involved really these three components. But when a person wants to lose weight and they say they want to lose weight and they give up after two or three weeks, that means that the vision wasn't strong enough, that you didn't want to lose that weight strong enough for you to change your life. And you, you got to ask yourself those hard questions and people just avoid hard. They they really scared of asking hard questions or being put in a, in a spot. And we all have to, and I've done it myself, and we all have to do it to become better. So anyway, going back to the story. I was told no, and I dig deeper, and I found a resource, and I became resourceful. And people that were showing in my life, I continue making commitments, connections, and and eventually it happened. But it took so many no's, guys. It didn't end on on a second one. So you gotta keep on digging. Whatever you're doing, don't give up today, because maybe so, I'm, I'm sure that so many of you maybe got a no, or maybe put something away, or maybe said, you know what. I'm not ready. You, you are ready. You just need to dig, dig a little bit deeper. Now, a few weeks ago, we went to Costa Rica. And I want to bring this up because now there's so many live. I, I have to tell you, I have to check the time. So many live lessons when you just look into this. So many. And somebody asked me, uh, recently where do i get the topics from it and i tell you how i do this when something comes in my life it hits me immediately it's just like wow this is a great topic for my video i have files on my phone when i open them and i type in a message i type a little bit info so i wouldn't forget because sometimes i've learned this from myself sometimes i would put a line and I would be like, I would go back and I'm like, what the hell I was thinking about? What is this? What is this thing? What, what, what is this thing that I thought? So nowadays, I make little notes so I know what to connect with. Each brain is different. I don't know. I'm, unless you, you, you find yourself similar to me, but mine works like this. And at least I'm aware of it. So I know how to battle it <laughs> because I was like, what is this on earth? So that's what I do. I make these notes. And then when I'm ready, when I'm connected, when I feel good about this, I put them and I do it and I share with you. So we went to Costa Rica. It's been a few weeks ago. Fantastic trip. If you've never been, I strongly recommend you to go. Awesome trip. So anyway, uh, I always bring my Herbalife shakes with me. I've been an Herbalife coach for many, many years. Um, I've been I've been helping people around the globe. I've been helping people not only use the shakes, but becoming wellness coaches all around the globe. So if you are interested, send me a message because uh, MLM is an amazing uh, amazing company to work with especially this one if you have an interest of health but that's just on a side note if you are interested so i bring my shakes everywhere it, it, i absolutely love them i live with them my my kids drink them tyson drinks them every single day ivanka is on and off uh, but tyson is just like on a ball on a roll every single day at night time this boy is like are they going to be in a shake? So, well, Steve screams. He has his. Tyson has his. His favorite is banana caramel. 
I bring these chicks with me. I bring our supplements. If you've seen our videos, I put it together. What we bring in this damn bag. There's Quest chips. There's protein bars. There's shakes. There's, I mean, this is a half a pantry. And that's how we travel. Why? Because we prepared for weeks and I want to be prepared because I don't want to have a situation that somebody tells me uh, there is no food or uh, there is no protein by bars. I take control and charge of my own life and this is how we living and I want to implement this in you because your life becomes awesome. It's much better this way, I'm telling you, when you are prepared and then you have a charge, you like eat what you want and how you want. And if something is not good, you're not going to accept it just because it's there. So I've tried. I, you know how it is at these resorts. There is a lot of food. So I walk around and I'm like, ah, greasy, mm -mm, not good. I can try it a little bit. Um, I am, I'm not picky, but I just know my system. I know how it reacts. I love sweets. I love sweets. I could live off of sugar. I think sweet girls love sugar. Is that right or no? I don't know. Nobody's laughing. <laughs> well, I love sweets. So that's why I have to supplement with, with protein bars and, and, and protein shakes. And I just know myself at this point. So I travel with this stuff. So, you know, we tried things, but then I, I was like, after second day, I'm like, this is not really suiting my system. I am going to uh, bring my shakes how I supposed to how how was how I was planning and then once a day I'm just gonna continue eating the dinner how this is really on a plan but then we had you know we had uh, we had snorkeling scuba diving all these other things and I'm like okay so now I have to start bringing these shakes wherever I go and then I'm thinking okay I went to the to the um, to the buffet and they told me no, we cannot make you a shake because this is after breakfast time. So we need to do this. We need to do this later. We need to go to the bar outside. And I'm thinking about okay, how I can bring a powder to a bar when people drink shakes. That was when people drink drink alcohol. That was my first thing. By the way, drink a lot of water because that's weight loss. So look, my fault, no one else's, he suggested me to go to the bar for, to, to create the, to make the shake. And my thought was like, how can I go? And then I thought, you know what? Why wouldn't I? This is what I love and I need to do it. So I'm just gonna go ask them and say that this is just a protein powder and this is what I need to do. And I remember sitting them for the first time, having that little funnel in front of me with the protein powder. People coming and going drunk, ordering the regular um, regular alcohol and I'm sitting with the Herbalife funnel to asking for a, for a protein shake at the resort when people just go and party. Well, I don't really drink much alcohol, if anything, maybe one glass of wine here and there, but that's that's just not my idea of party. I can dance without it. So, but the priority was to have a clean shake and good shake. So I asked them, they asked me a couple of questions. They pour some water, some ice. Of course, I gave them some couple of dollars because you need to be grateful. Don't be freaking, um, uh, what do you call it? Whatever you want to call it. So I gave them a couple dollars and they make me shake. And that's how I started. And then they used, and then they got used to me and they, they knew it was even I what I even needed, and that was really cool. So I just want to show you with this example, a simple thing like this. Some other person would say, "This is crazy," and someone else asked me, "Are you nuts to bringing this to the bar?" And I say, "Yes, because th this is what I need, and I need to cultivate my values, and that's what I stand for, and that has to be you too, guys, because a lot of people just don't forget about this." And I think if you live like this, you bring the aura and the energy and everything that you stand for to the group and whatever you are. So be yourself, share yourself. That were that was my important things. And I'm happy that I did that because those little victories, because when you accomplish something like this, you make yourself feel better. It's like a small victory that prepare you for a better tomorrow, you know? And that's what we all need to think and acknowledge, acknowledge this. 
and then uh, also at Costa Rica, one of the, these days, I remember we were sitting at the beach and a really beautiful beach uh, with black sand because it's a volcanic island. And I see, you know, these natives selling these dresses under these beautiful big trees, hanging dresses with their hangers and, and just hustling, walking around, asking questions. Would you like to buy? Would you like to try? And some lady came up to me and gives me a flyer and she speaks Spanish and I don't understand really what she says, but she pushed this flyer and I see a massage and I see her walking. And a few days later, I saw her walking all the time, all the time, giving the flyers, being active. So I thought, you know what? I am going to book with her because I really liked her. So that was an email on the information because I remember calling, but nobody answered. So I emailed her. And the email came in with, yes, we can schedule you. Those are the opening hours. So I communicate with her. I schedule the time with her. And here we go. Steve went first to do the to do the uh, massage. And then he texts me, hey, listen, you're going to go here and here. You're going to meet this lady. This is freaking funny. It's like, a, it's like a town of these huts, these really made out of wood um, poles that have these blankets over them. Just go there and you're going to find it. And I was walking through the through the parking lot and I went into like a section of a forest and here they were. All these white sheets floating in the air. I felt like in a different country, literally. There was, I don't know how many, 30, 40 of them. And I saw her sitting right there in her little place. And she had, she was just finishing a client and then she did the massage for me and then she had another client and then I thought and we had a good conversation when she was doing a massage and I said you know you're really out there doing so much she said you gotta you gotta do it you gotta push hard you gotta go next you you gotta push hard you gotta be the hustler you gotta you know I involved my daughter and she was telling me about her daughter and she asked her daughter to learn the language so she could translate I mean all these things that this lady was doing just to get a client. And we forget how much work it is to put into something, to create something, like think about it. There is so much energy that we have to generate in order for us to move forward. And no wonder that this lady had so many uh, clients because she was going these on these trips through this beach giving these flyers out, contacting people, being nice. Uh, she was very friendly. Um, you know, her massage was great. And I, I honestly, it was just a wonderful to meet her because her energy was awesome. So think about what you're doing today in life. Uh, maybe your energy is not good enough. Maybe you're not getting enough clients because your energy sucks. You know, maybe you don't, in, you, you don't interact with people enough. Maybe you're not pushing enough or maybe you're not delivering enough of the value. So just ask yourself these questions and I'm going to go over them in a second. So maybe grab a pen and a paper because this can be breakthrough for you. Something that will lead you to something better. And I tell you guys, I mean, we've developed businesses, we've developed courses, we've done so much in our life and we had successful seven figure businesses, but it's all from hard work. It never, never happened from expecting something for nothing and this is number one think about how much work you need to to put to get the results you want number one do not expect something for nothing it will not come to you and it didn't come from me you know who said this who, napoleon Hill said this in his book and yes you need to do personal development if you want to change your life and you need to apply these things because and you need to constantly submerge yourself with this to become better and so many people still do not understand coaching it's crazy but this is a new era that that's what's gonna blow up and become something that everybody will need a coach because the mindset of people is very broken and we all need to have someone that will push you to the next level and clear up the path for you. Remember this. I've seen this over and over. People expecting things, expectation from zero input. 
I've seen this over and over again over the course of running the business, being there for many, many years and running even the MLM. Running MLM too. People want to start the business without putting effort. They think that just money will be coming down from the sky. It doesn't work like this. Number two, ask yourself a question. Am I doing enough? Am I doing enough? Three, can I serve better? Yes. If I can serve better, how? Write it down. Guys, writing it down, answering those questions, it just creates a, a, a really flawless responses. Like what can be done? Your brain will be created. What, number four, what else can I do? And I see you guys joining a bunch of people here, but I still don't see your responses. I still would love to hear from you. You know, who I can ask for help? Even Steve yesterday in his video was talking about asking for help that men suffer in silence. I think women suffer in silence too. We all suffer in silence at some point because we don't want to ask someone for help because it's our ego. We feel weird about asking for help. But there's nothing wrong with asking for help because think about it. If somebody has done it and they have a path to do it for you, and if they could share it with you, what an amazing trip for you would that be? Right? Exactly. So why wouldn't you ask for help? Ask for help. Don't feel strange about it. Number six, who, what ways can I improve? When we were running the businesses and other things, it's all about improving yourself. You cannot jump over like a hurdle without self-improvement. You need to become better. When we started the business years ago, I mean, I'm talking about oh, over 25 years ago when I first became a coach, well, coach, I was training group sessions in Poland. Then I came here. I had to study more of my language. I spent hours and hours when I was working on self-development, studying the, the language, opening up dictionary, learning, just, just intense study on my own so I could become better. And, and that's what led me to become better. But with coaching itself, hundreds of repetitions and doing this stuff over and over again, leading classes, speaking, talking, training, uh, you know, discovering on my own when I was eating, what works, what doesn't, what can I improve with my clients? That's what the self-development, self-improvement, going to the next step is, okay? Uh, it, you can't jump that. You can, it's hard to jump over the hurdle. You need to put the time, you need to have these reps, and you need to, you, you, you just need to put that work. You need to, you can have a tool, you can have a, the steps to do it, but you still need to put that work. Who I need to connect with? Connecting is really good because sometimes that leads to, you know, asking for help, but connection that somebody can give you a tip, somebody who has done it, that's very, very important. And make the list of things uh, that, you, that you do and ask yourself, am I consistent enough? Because even with like weight loss, I will I will give you an idea, um, example of a weight loss. When when we do weight loss journeys, we ask our clients when they log into our program, online program, to connect to a fitness pal. Fitness pal is a well known application. When you connect to the fitness pal, I see how many calories you consumed. I see this on the graph. And when a person needs to lose weight, when they do this, they become a master of it because they see repetition. Did they do good? Did they not do good? That's what it is. You're training your brain to do it and you can see the results for putting everything in and you see consistency. And that's how recent client lost 21 pounds in a month. She was, she was overweight. She was 200 pounds, but she lost 21 pounds in a recent month. Why? Because she connected also the fitness pal. She was doing my workouts, what I told her. She just repeated to the Z. And this is an example. Because how can you measure something? How can you see the results 
when it's not measured? How are you gonna how you if I'm gonna ask you what you ate three days ago, you're not gonna remember. You cannot tell me exactly what you have. You can't. Unless you're continuously eating the same things over and over. I am able to tell you what I've had because I do the same thing. The only difference is, is in the dinner. When sometimes eat fish, chicken, maybe shrimp, you know, here and there, very rarely ground turkey. My system works better with seafood. And and that's it. And vegetables are the same. Certain vegetables will never happen on my plate. Why would I? Why would I, uh, you know, sacrifice my, the way how I feel, the way how I look? I don't want that. So measuring is the key. Measuring is the key and being consistent. And as famous author Nathaniel Brandt said, the reputation, listen to this, the reputation you have with yourself your self-esteem can be pushed by pushing a little more, going extra mile. By doing so, you will feel that simple, so simple. It's all about pushing a little harder, like with the workouts. You do a workout, you go a little bit harder. Come on, an extra rep. That's what the coach will tell you. Come on, an extra rep. Give me something more. It's here. It's the same. So if you are in a field of workouts or fitness, you understand what I'm saying. But if you don't, it's okay. That's why starting with your fitness and health as a foundation, it's crucial. Because how can you lead others? You have to start with yourself. And a lot of us are our parents and we want to lead from the front. We want to give them good example. So you have to start with yourself. And fitness is awesome because then you understand a lot what means struggle. Physical, that physical struggle of working out and pushing harder, being sore and dealing with it into your daily life. I'm telling you guys, change your life today. Also, hire a coach. You need some help with anything. Send me a message. Send me a DM. I'm going to be posting that video. This video is available on YouTube at Eva, the Eckert, Eva Eckert and on Instagram, Eva the Eckert one. And look, it's not about being perfect. It's not. It's about showing up consistently with uh, repetitions with you and not limiting yourself. We cannot limit ourselves. That's that's The growth happens when you open your mind that's the growth happens but think about it. if you put a cup on yourself that's like putting a cup you can't grow so wishing you all the growth all the best lessons and and really feeling inspired by the video so you can make a change in your life and of course if you need anything i'm gonna post my link to a 15 to 20 minutes scheduling consultation with me and uh, but you need to put your email don't be afraid Just put your email and we can talk. It's all about starting conversation. All right, guys, I got to go and pick up my kids. I will talk to you later. Have a no excuses, no excuses day. And thank you so much for participating in the No Excuses Ladies Show.